I wanted to do a video on my high tech 20 long planet aquarium. Um, show you my gear first and then show you the tank. I got the um, five pound aluminum CO2 tank, the Milwaukee regulator, bubble counter, the Fluval 206 canister filter. I really love it. I used to have two hang on backs, and this thing's way better. So. Up here I have a marine land LED on top. It blocks a lot of the light from bleeding from my main fixture, which is a Coral Life dual T5 high output, 62 watts. It's a lot of light on a 20 long, I know. Um, substrates of fluorite, Seachem fluorite. Checking CO2 via drop checker. I use 4DKH solution, not tank water. But I think it's coming along. As far as the plants, I got Telanthera cardinalis, I believe. Some water wisteria, Anubius nana. I'm sure, you can see the Madagascar lace I've had for about two months. It's doing very good. Um, this here is a tiger lotus bulb, probably rotten. Need to get rid of it. Some Amazon sword, some more wisteria. The tall grass is Cypress Hill furry. Got some rickia moss on the driftwood. This is a Wendelov Java fern or Java lace Java fern. And I think that's some uh, Java moss that I got in with my rickia moss. It's doing pretty cool. Some more Java fern, Nubius nana, and dwarf hair grass. I'm fighting. This shit's a pain in the ass. I got high CO2 highlights. Um, you know, EI dosing getting some runners and it's just a bitch I don't know what the deal is so fish I got three neon tetras two red red platies one male one female three black neon tetras hiding in the back and five tiger barbs I've had for about a year and a half almost two years now I use the Marine Land LED just for the moonlight before the lights turn off and before they come on. And like I say, it blocks a lot of the light from coming into the living room. This tank is in the living room on the kitchen bar, and it is viewable from all sides. My main view is from the front here. Sorry about the shaking camera. YouTube's balancing feature sucks, and I don't use it. So if we come around... I really love this piece of spider wood I got. It's fucking gnarly. Not sure. I'm, I'm probably going to add some more moss to it, maybe. Some more. The hair grass. Some more Anubius Nana. I'm only having problems with algae on the uh, Anubius. Not too, too much anywhere else. Some more of that Telanthera cardinalis. I really like this plant. It did well. About a year ago, and some other substrate I had, but I just got it a couple weeks ago. It's probably still going through some shack. But uh, get my damn hose hanging here. All right, guys. Hope you guys like it.